Hey, how are you going to tune up your instrument? That's right, you'll want to tune up before you play, and there are lots of clip-on tuners available. However, I want to first tell you that you can get a tuning app on your smartphone if you want to go that route. I will say I've noticed a lot of my students who start with that uh, find that it's more convenient to use the clip-on tuner. It just clips right onto your headstock and uh, when you're tuning it's right there facing you. You're looking at the tuning machines and you're looking at this at the same time. So if you find putting your smartphone on your thigh or somewhere around you and then looking at it while you tune is not as convenient as you'd like. These kind of clip-on tuners, they run from, the ones I've sold over the years run from $6 to over 30 and uh, in my experience, the $6 ones were uh, not good enough, and I mostly sell $10 and $12. $10 running on button batteries, the most common battery around in those is the CR2032. You can get them anywhere, drugstores, supermarkets. I sell them for a couple bucks a piece. But the rechargeables for $2 more uh, comes with a USB cable and you plug it in. Any tuner will do. You'll notice this one right here has just one button. If you like to keep things simple, get a one button machine and uh, keep it simple, like I said. There are others that uh, you can see a common $10 one doesn't matter what brand it is, a lot of them have the same innards, that blue screen that turns green when you get it in tune along with the needle up at the top. This is one of those rechargeables. All of these come in different colors, so you can get the color you want. And this, instead of having a needle and a screen that goes from uh, blue to green, this has color bars. So those are the most common. The blue screen that turns green as the needle goes or the color bars. Now, if I said the $6 ones weren't good enough for me, but I sell a lot of $10 and $12 ones and that's what I use, um, I will say that in my experience, $30 ones don't necessarily last any longer or do any better than the $10 ones or $12 ones. So, I would say keep it simple. Don't spend a lot on the tuner. They may or may not last a long time. Um, I have a $10 tuner that's lasted a very long time. But as I test ones out for the store, um, any one of them may last disappointingly short something can go wrong and uh, so don't invest a lot of money just get yourself a tuner or use your phone app or some instrument around that you can match tones with if you're good at that a piano or a guitar whatever's around but as I say most of us get right on to the uh, convenience of the clip-on tuner and wherever you buy it just ask them to show you how to run it Maybe you're good at reading uh, owner's manuals that come with them, but maybe they aren't written very well. So I would ask the store where I buy it, can you give me a little training on running this tuner? Because some have more than one button and do more things. Uh, and you may or may not want those extra features, metronomes or adjusting the pitch, etc. So tune up. Have some fun making music, and I will see you later. By the way, I am Jeff Hanna from the Ukulele Place at the Rhythm Inlet in Nokomis, Florida, where we have the Ukulele Place store here, as you can see. But wherever you are, find a local store is your best bet. 
so you can try things out and they can explain things to you. Uh, if you do buy online, hopefully you have the ability to return if things don't work out the way you were dreaming. But carry on and make that wonderful music. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.